Hello everyone, and welcome to my next What I Think figure review. Now, look what I have managed to get hold of. Um, this isn't released in the UK yet, I had to order this all the way from uh, North America. Um, it took a while to get here, but here it is. So it's very good and uh, happy to be able to give you a quick um, preview of this before it comes to the stores of Forbidden Planet in the UK. So let's start off, as always, with the box. Very well presented, um, obviously, there's even a, a little uh, tableau inside, complete with strings on the painting. Obviously, they're printed on, but uh, you do have a little miniature uh, bit of the um, gallery. It's, it's a really well presented box, actually. It's a shame, again, you know, this is really good in terms of presentation. Compared to the 12th Doctor figure, it sat, which was sadly lacking in its presentation. This is this is really well put together and it's really amazing. Um, obviously, Lentacular Gallifrey Falls painting, nice figure display, 5.5 inch, curator, collector set. More details on the sides of the box. On the back, in years to come you might find yourself revisiting a few, but just the old favourites, eh? Walking stick painting. Um, the figure itself is actually a really good likeness, obviously a little bit of blurb. Um, I don't want to concentrate too much on the box, I always wanted to give you guys a quick uh, overview of it. Um, so uh, that is the box, we shall move on to the things it's themselves. So first up we have the Gallifrey Falls painting itself. Now I don't know if this is going to come up on camera very well, but it is lentacular. It does uh, change as you view it. It's quite good actually, it's an interesting effect. It's not it's not as effective as it seems in the television show, but uh, it is very... it's still a really nice touch to have and it really gives the, you know, the painting a, a sort of 3D feel to it. The figure itself, now this is actually very good. I'm, I'm very. It's a very good likeness, actually. They've done it very well. Uh, good likeness of uh, an older, older Tom Baker. Um, good use of a spare head if you have more than one of these. But um, if you wanted to make a, an older figure, in fact, it would be quite interesting. It's something that uh, I've mentioned him in a video already today. But I'm going to mention him again. If Tom Fan wanted to make a Avatar figure, <laughs> this would definitely be a head for him to use. Obviously, he comes with a, a walking stick. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's a really nice figure, actually, and he, he looks really well. I know one thing that some people have said is he's very tall. So, do I have a stock standard figure to hand? Uh, I don't actually have an uncustomized figure on my desk. Uh, Sixth Doctor is probably the closest I can come to an uncustomized figure. So, as you can see, he is he is quite tall. Um, in fact, actually, how tall is he compared to a Matt Smith figure? I can't, I can't reach it. Okay, well, as you can see, he is obviously taller uh, than other figures, but I don't think it's going to really detract from from uh, from the figure itself, which, as I said, is a superb sculpt. They've really done very well on this, and it, you know, the with along with the painting, you know, it really makes a very nice uh, display piece. Um, to to have obviously but oh, oh, that's not good okay there you go just to you know I don't want my reviews always to be completely glowing because these figures do have faults that is one the uh, bicep on this very loose and that's probably not good that's is held in but I mean you can see you know how loose that is that is a bit of a shame but um, you know, I suppose it is a, it's a, you know, it's it's marketed as a collector's, as a collector's figure. You know, these things aren't made for to be, to you know, I know people are going to say, oh, well, they're, you know, action figures, they're action figures, they're not toys. These are toys, let's be honest. They are toys, but this is definitely aimed at more of the collectors. So I think a lot of people I have found that said with the uh, 12th Doctor figure is that it doesn't have, you know, it's bit, you know, it's joints are loose, it doesn't have much play value and stuff like that. But, you know, look at the box collector's set. Collector is the uh, appropriate word there. You know, these figures aren't made really to be toys. They're made, these ones specifically are made for display pieces. Um, but, uh, you know, but anyway, you know, it's, I'm, I think this is a really good, um, you know, just bring it all back in. I think this is actually a really good 
figure. You know, it's it's got a great likeness. The painting is is superb. Um, the sculpt is very very good, and you know, as I said, even just in the box, you get this small little presentation piece of uh, of the National Gallery. You know, it's it, it, this. I think whilst these figures have their downsides, I think it's. It's just, it's great that we shouldn't overlook the fact that we are getting the 5 inch range back. You know, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, the Missy figure. I've already pre-ordered those and those will be coming up in a review. But, you know, just to, just as a display piece alone, this is fantastic. This is really good. I, you know, I really, really enjoy this. I think it's a, it's a great figure. It has its weak points, quite literally, in some cases. But overall, fantastic. Love it. Well worth getting, in my opinion. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favourite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And I shall see you all with another video very soon.